Okay, guys, so welcome in to the freaking fabrication segment here uh, at Dioko TV. And we're just going to talk briefly on fabrication in game, kind of the things you need to look for, how to use fabrication, um, how you maximize your skill gain, and how you efficiently work your way up from zero to 100. Okay. So real quick, what we're going to do is we're going to show just some of the basics of fabrication that some people may or may not know about. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to go to a tailor in any city. At the tailor, you're just going to look for the loom and simply double click it. It's going to prompt you with a menu and you're going to have a lot of different choices, some of which you may have already seen. Maybe if you're new to the game, you don't really know uh, what all these options are. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to walk through them. Okay. So the loom is going to be your tool. That's how you're going to level your fabrication. Uh, another tip that you want to make sure you do is make sure you always keep some food with you. Just keep 30 bread or something in your bag at all times. And when you start crafting, just make sure you're well fed and, and periodically, maybe once every 15 to 20 minutes, just, you know, eat another bread loaf or whatever, just to make sure you're maximizing your efficiency and skill gain. Okay. There's several different resources that you're going to use. Um, cotton and fluffy cotton can be farmed both in Pyrus Landing and Eldir Village. You're going to get leather from animals. Uh, you can also get it from imps and corruption. You're going to get beast leather. The best place to farm that is the rabid wolves, um, which, you know, if you're looking for a place there, just ask anywhere and, and you can you can get that information. Uh, vile leather, you can farm from the dragon and Cerebus. Uh, those are the only two places that I know about right now that you can get vile leather. So just real quick, and again, guys, don't feel like you've got to write all this information down because we're going to have a link to all of, of the skill guide uh, in the comments below. So just, just kind of listen and take note of what you want. But again, remember that you're going to have this below. So the most efficient resource use for leveling is going to be this. Uh, and, and one thing we have to note is that resource or skill gain is strictly RNG. So while I may have spent, I don't know, uh, 10 hours total leveling, it may take you 12 or 13. It may take you six or eight. It's just a matter of the RNG with skill gain. Unfortunately, it's not a set path where you're going to hit a, a skill gain every time you craft this at a certain level, unfortunately, okay? So, for the first 22 skill points from 0 to 22, you're just simply going to make cloth from cotton. You're going to go pick your freaking cotton until your hands bleed, okay? Once you run out of cotton, you can go ahead and use some of that, that, that cloth you make, uh, and you can make tattered shirts, tattered legs, and short sleeve shirts. Those all cost one cloth. So, again, this is the most efficient way for us to use our resources, uh, from 22 to about 35 skill, you're going to move into making cloth linen helms. Those are about three cloth a piece. And you're also going to mix in some skill gain from quilted cloth from fluffy, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, quilted cloth from fluffy cotton at 25 skill. But I'm going to say if, if you want to use the quilted cloth later, then wait till your skill gets a little bit higher, maybe like 34, between 32 and 34. So you're actually making the quilted cloth instead of felling for skill gain. That way you do actually get the quilted cloth, okay? From 35 to 45, simply make long sleeve shirts. That's two cloth a piece. And then here's where it gets tricky, and, and some things I, I kind of have taken a little bit of my concern to the developers to say you guys need some more stuff in the, the 60 range. But from 45 to 76, using specifically cloth, you're basically going to make blacksmith tunics. It's going to take a long time once you get to about 72 to 76. It's going to take you a long time. You're going to be farming a lot of cotton, okay? If you have an opportunity to get some beast leather, I would say do that. And then at about 50 skill, you can start turning beast leather hide into beast leather. And then, um, let's see, you'll basically be able to use that for leather chests, which are about eight beast leather. And the the breaking point for that is about starts at 49 skill. And then you're not you're not going to get great skill ups. It's going to kind of going to be equivalent to blacksmith tunics. I think they're both going to be trivial at that point. If you have great access to vile leather, congratulations to you. But you basically can't actually start creating that leather until 75. However, there are some recipes that allow you to use vile leather prior to 75, even though you can't turn vile um, beast hide into vile leather. So uh, just a couple quick notes about that. Finally, moving on, once you do hit 76, you've kind of gotten past that point. You're now into leather and uh, you're going to make hardened helms, which are going to be four leather a piece until level 86. And then finally from 86 to 100, you're going to make assassin helms, which are five leather a piece. 
And if you feel that the skill gain gets a little bit slow after about 95, you can bump that up to dragon's chests, which are about seven leather a piece. So that has been freaking fabrication. Uh, good luck to you guys in the skill grind. And in the meantime, we're going to open it up to chat to see if they have any questions regarding fabrication. So guys, thank you so much for watching that video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please be sure to put that in the field below so that we can get to your feedback, answer your questions, and apply that to the next video that we do. Don't forget also to support Dioko TV by subscribing to the channel, as well as checking us out on twitch.tv slash Dioko TV. I hope we'll see you there.